Composting is one of the easiest ways to recycle and it's not as hard as you think. Studies show that almost half of your household waste that is sent to the curb is organic matter. Matter that can be recycled through composting. That's a huge amount of, of organic waste that is going to the landfill. By preventing that waste from going to the landfill, it not only reduces the cost of waste to landfill, but the organic matter is not able to properly decompose because it's compressed so tightly. One of the um, byproducts of that is methane gas. And methane gas is actually a greenhouse gas that is 21 times stronger than carbon dioxide. So it, it, landfills in Canada are one of the largest sources of, uh, of greenhouse gas emissions. So not putting organics into the landfill really will help reduce GHGs. To get your compost started, there are a couple things to keep in mind. You'll need a proper place for your composting bin, somewhere that is convenient and has some light. Then you need four things to make it a success. The first is have browns, and browns are carbon-rich materials. So it's things like dried leaves, dried grass clippings, cardboard, paper egg cartons, even toilet tubes uh, from toilet paper. So newspaper will also work, so you need the browns. And you need to layer those with greens, and greens are the things that you will, will come out of your kitchen, like vegetable scraps, apple cores, eggshells, those sorts of things. Once you layer your browns and greens, there are two more ingredients, water and air. We actually live in a really dry climate, so you need to water your compost and it should always have the consistency of a wrung out sponge. So that means giving it a bucket of water a week or, or, or two a week. Then the other thing is to aerate it and so that means either mixing it with a pitchfork if you can get a pitchfork in your in your composter or a wing digger which is an aerating tool that we have in our composting kit. It takes a little time to get the mixture right, but when you do, you'll end up with a nutrient-rich compost you can put back into your garden. If you're doing it right, you'll end up with this really earthy sort of substance that's gonna smell earthy, it's gonna look black and crumbly, and that's what you're going to end up using in your yard and garden. The City of Red Deer is offering residents a free composting program. It includes a composting workshop, a compost bin, kitchen catcher, and aerator to get you started. You will be part of a survey over the year, but it's a great way to introduce yourself to the world of composting. Most people who have the room to compost will have a, a use for that compost. And um, using recycling those nutrients back into the earth is, is really, really important.